quick and delicious weeknight meal. I'm making some stuffed eggplant. I have these beautiful eggplant here. I'm gonna cut them into rounds and fill them with the stuffing, the cheese and breadcrumbs and herbs. It's gonna be so good and so simple. And I'll show you just how I make it. Okay, so to make our stuffed eggplant, first and foremost, I'm gonna start with the filling. So I have here some lower paneer, or similar to this would be ricotta cheese, or any type of soft crumbly cheese that you like to use. And I'm just breaking it up a little bit in the bowl. And then to that, I wanna season it with a little bit of sea salt. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it in liberally. And then I'm gonna add some dried oregano. And then I have about one cup of chopped parsley. This is our herb part, it adds such a nice flavor. <laughs> and then I have some scallions. So this is about six scallions that I've chopped. It's the green part and the white part. Place that in the bowl, beautiful. Such a delicious combination. And then I have some breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna start out by just adding about a third of a cup and then see what I need because I'm also gonna put a little bit of breadcrumb on top. So I don't wanna add too much too soon. I'm gonna drizzle it with a tablespoon or two of olive oil. Just a little swig around my bowl. <laughs> and then I have some yogurt. And I'm using a nice thick yogurt. And I find that if your cheese is already pretty moist, then maybe you can omit that part. But because my cheese is a little bit dry, the lower paneer, I'm just gonna add a little bit of yogurt to spruce it up a little. And now I'm just mixing it all together. Beautiful, looks so good already. And I love this mixture because it really is just mostly cheese and herb. And I think it tastes so good. And underneath the eggplant, we'll have some delicious tomato. It's just such a nice light combo of a meal. So that looks great. So now that I have my delicious filling, it's time to start preparing my eggplant. So let's get started. Okay, so now that I've prepared my filling, it is resting, and I'm gonna start preparing my eggplant. So, at the bottom of my pan, what I wanna do is just take, I have a couple of medium tomatoes that I've chopped. I'm just gonna add those to the bottom of my pan, also with some olive oil, just like that. Season it with a little bit of oregano and a little bit of sea salt. And this is gonna be the nice basis for our eggplant to rest on. I think eggplant and tomato taste absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> so I absolutely love the idea of making the uh, tomato the base for the eggplant. Okay, so now that that's done, it's time to slice up my eggplant. So I'm just gonna take the ends, and what I wanna do is create nice, thick rounds of the eggplant. So I'm just eyeballing it, but I wanna roughly cut each piece to be roughly the same size, so. I'm just cutting it to nice thick pieces. And I love this dish because it has all of the flavor that a normal pasta dish might have, but without all the heaviness. So I really love that, and I really appreciate that about this dish. Super flavorful, and I love to pair it with bulgur or some rice, or even just on its own with a salad. It's really good, and it's really light, and it's good for you. Okay, so now they have some nice large pieces of eggplant here. Beautiful, looks so good already. I'm just gonna continue to pile them in. So good, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is also season up my eggplant. So I also want it to taste good in and of itself. <laughs> so I also don't wanna neglect seasoning the eggplant. So I'm just sprinkling some salt right on top of my eggplant. Not too much, but just enough so that they have some nice flavor. So good. Now it's time to add the filling. So now that I have my eggplant all lined up with the tomato base, I have my delicious filling, it's time to start topping them. So what I do for my filling, let me get out a spoon and I can show you exactly what I mean, is really just create a mound of filling. So I have my eggplant piece, and then I just load it on, kind of like I'm creating stuffed mushrooms. I don't know if you've seen my stuffed mushroom recipe, but this is literally quite similar to what I do for the stuffed mushrooms. 
I actually made like a bulgur base stuffing for them. It's really, really good. And you could totally add something like bulgur to this recipe and it makes it more hearty as well. And I am just topping it so that it covers just the top part of my eggplant piece, just like that. So see how it creates a nice little mound, something to sit on top of there. And then I'm just gonna take some of my breadcrumbs and just lightly sprinkle them right on top of the little mound. And then in the end, I will drizzle it all with a little bit of olive oil and then we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna keep going and then we will have all of our eggplant ready to pop into the oven. So good. Okay, so now as you can see, I've sufficiently stuffed all of my delicious eggplant rounds and they look so good. And then I also topped them with a little bit of the breadcrumbs. And then I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil just right on top of them to help make sure, sure that they stay nice and moist as they bake. And now I'm gonna pop them in the oven. I have my oven preheated on 180 degrees Celsius. They are gonna bake for about 20 minutes until they're nice and golden and the eggplant is nice and tender. And then we will have our delicious stuffed eggplant rounds. So good. Okay, so my eggplant has been roasting and it smells so good. The cheese and the herbs. Mm. Ooh. Wow. And check that out. Beautiful, delicious stuffed eggplant rounds with cheese and herb and the lovely tomatoes in the bottom. Such a delicious weeknight meal. <laughs> so, thank you so much for checking out this video on how to make these delicious roasted eggplant or stuffed eggplant rounds. I hope that you give it a try for yourself in your home kitchen and that you definitely enjoy. Until the next video, I can't wait to see you next time. See ya!